Hello YouTube, this is Romix Gaming, and today we're going to go over except two different accessories that I kind of have been de debating about which one I should make, um, and I've kind of thought I'd make a video on it and see what you guys think, and see what I think I should make, and which, uh, that's why I'm making this video. Um, so Karox War Drums is a Rage Gen accessory, 10% chance to gain 50 Rage to your troops, as well as two nearby allies. And then there's the Horn of Fury, okay? So it's 30% chance to gain extra 50 Rage to your one march, okay? Um, my thought is, if you're a rally lead, or garrison captain, anything that you're going to be doing just one march, doing, you know, all the work, or leading the charge, um, you want to have the Horn of Fury. No question you want the Horn of Fury. However, if you're going to be doing field fighting um, with your five five to seven marches, depending on, you know, your preference or how much you're willing to spend kind of thing, uh, I think Rock Squadrons Drums would be a really good addition um, af either before or after the Horn. Uh, it kind of depends. If you don't plan to ever rally or garrison, um, Horn's not that big a deal because um, this is going to give you rage over time. Um, for a, ten, a little bit less chance, you know, but it's going to give you rage over time um, to three marches instead of one, which I thought was really, really good. Cost the same amount of materials, things like that. Um, I think it's the same for... Is it the same? No, it's actually... It's slightly cheaper, actually. I didn't see that. I thought they were all the same. Uh, just slightly cheaper than the Horn of Fury. Um, and I think it's a little bit better, in my opinion, if you're going to field fight. Um, if you're not going to field... Well, everybody should field fight, so... It is good for field fighting. Uh, the Horn of Fury is mostly for rally or that one march leading all the buffs and stuff like that. Um, but for field fighting, this is going to be a really good buff for all your marches. Um, yeah, it's a little bit less of a chance, but I think it's worth it. Um, it's probably going to be one of my list to make. Um, if I can get the blueprint from the egg event, that's probably what I'll make, um, most likely. At some point, uh, I don't know if I'll make it first. I'll probably make the Horn first because I might rally, you know, things like that at some point. I don't know. Uh, it's always good to have both, as bad, bad as that says to say. Uh, it's a good idea to make one of each, um, just because, so you never know what you're going to do. Um, but I was just kind of making this video thinking, you know, this is one no one really talks about, but I think it's really good. Um, yeah, it's not much over time, like I said, but I think it's really good over time. Um, just It's a slower rage gain than any, some other things, but it's pretty good uh, for your materials, and it's kind of one that you can make after you make some of the other ones, like the dagger, the horn and stuff like that. That would be one of your next ones you should make. If, you, if you're not going to rally, then maybe you make that and the uh, dagger and the Moore's Web. Um, but I just want to make this video about it because I thought I just kind of read it and I hadn't read it for a while and I think they may have changed it. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but uh, 50 rage to three different markers over time is pretty good, I thought. So um, if you found this video informative and helped you learn which ones you wanted to craft, uh, drop a like and subscribe, and have a nice day.